Hey everyone, it's Gavilan Ord here, um, just doing a, uh, another attempt at a Star Wars diorama. So today what I'm going to do is I'm looking at uh, building a, a small Moss Eisley scene. Um, as I mentioned in one of my videos before, I'm trying uh, to do a full bookshelf diorama, and one of the shelves is going to be fully Tatooine. So I have to have a Moss Eisley. Um, diorama, of course, right. So you can kind of see I'm already kind of mid-project here, but I wanted just to uh, show you what I've got, uh, what my plans are, and see if you know it's something you might be able to recreate on your own. So uh, we've got, of course, um, we have our do back here again for kind of reference. But uh, here's what I've come up with so far. So um, this is a foam ball that I bought at Walmart. It was about three dollars and fifty cents. I just cut it in half. I found a couple of boxes. Um, this one's really kind of a nice cube shape, so I thought that would, would would be fantastic. I cut this box from the back and put some masking tape on it um, so the plaster would stick better. But these are going to be my two buildings. Um, I found some copper piping around in the house. I'll show you what I'll use that for. Some um, some wire. I don't Again, I'm not really sure I'm going to use all this stuff or not. And I found this cool thing right here. This is just a pa plastic piece of molding from a package like I think it's some sort of an electronics piece and I thought wow you know this would be really cool so my idea here uh, oh sorry and I also found this um, I have no idea what this is I'll be honest with you I just found it lying around the house um, and I found this little box and it already had the little hole cut out of it um, I, I made it domed but you can kind of see um, it, I thought it'd be perfect so I'm gonna put that on top like here like so this is I thought would be like a cool little power station and then I'd use this for tubing, like um, for conduits on either side. And um, this is going to be my other hut. And so, um, again, I'm going to try to see if I can make uh, make a little diorama with this. Um, of course, we have we must have plaster, um, right? You've got this is the lightweight spackling. Um, I also have some um, heavy duty stuff there too. Um, but the spackling is the stucco of the modeling world, right? So <laughs> I have to coat everything with a bunch of spackling and then I gotta sand it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start coating and gluing some stuff together and I will um, then come back with uh, when a little progress has been made. Okay, so I made a little bit of progress. I haven't done too much here, but I just wanted to show you. I, I kinda got a little bit more ambitious than I thought I would and so I, um, made some little windows here. Um, we've got some of the plaster on. I made some stairs out of foam core. I've never done this before, but everyone says foam core is the best. So uh, obviously I haven't, they're not finished yet, but the idea here is to uh, to put them up here like that. Um, and then I'm going to do some other stuff. But anyway, just wanted to give you a mid-project update, and uh, I'll come back with uh, when it's a little bit more completed. Okay, here's just a, a little bit more progress has been made. You can kind of see I, I've done some stuff here with the stairs. Um, I took some cardboard and just kind of cut out some um, an archway there and then taped it with masking tape. And then this is uh, the buttress uh, that I've got up there. And this is the stairs. I had to redo these. <laughs> um, so that's uh, that wasn't good. But you put it all together and this is kind of what um, what I'm shooting for right here. And again, when it all comes together, hopefully with uh, some spackling, uh, it'll look nice. But anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so while some other spackling and stuff is drying, I thought I'd go ahead and I'd try to tackle the power station. So I went around and just ground up as much stuff as I could um, and see if I could turn this thing into uh, some sort of a power, Tatooine power substation. So these are the parts I kind of come up with here. And we're going to take all this and I'm going to assemble them in a way I have a plan on how everything will look so um, I'll put it together and I'll show you guys uh, what I come up with here okay so here is my completed power station <clears throat> you can kind of see how I turned out here and I'm really happy with how um, how it turned out uh, it's the only original thing I think I was able to create <clears throat> and during this whole diorama process so what I did is again I took the uh, the molding and I, I sprayed it a gray and tried to give it a rusty look <clears throat> With the brown, I found some interesting parts and pieces. This is just uh, speaker wire. I uh, spray painted brown to give it a rusty look. Um, here's some end caps. I don't know what these are, but um, this is a heat sink fan from a CPU motherboard. These are cables from a uh, power supply. These are just coat hanger wires. 
Um, this is, a, I think, a transistor from my motherboard. This is a decal I downloaded from the internet. There's a control panel. And this is a, a CPU fan or a, a, a fan for a graphics card. Um, so anyway, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Hopefully this will look really nice. And then um, here's how I did with my um, with the others. So here's where I'm at up to this point. <clears throat> I've got the buttresses um, done. I've got uh, pretty much everything sanded and um, spackled. Uh, the buttress is done here. Um, the door I did um, using foam core on a cardboard background. So I carved a pattern in there based on some patterns I had seen and spray painted it red. And uh, here's what it looks like. So my final plans are to put some piping on the top, maybe a chimney over there, another chimney over here, some piping. Um, and of course the scary part here is the painting. Um, <clears throat> the painting is going to be uh, very critical uh, in terms of how this is all going to turn out. Um, so I'll be back. Okay, so here is the diorama completed. It is fully painted and um, pretty much ready to go. So let me go ahead and go over um, what I did. Um, so if you want to go ahead and recreate this at home, that uh, you can do so. So let me talk real quick about the uh, some of the additional things I did for effect. Um, one of the first things I did here is I put a, a pipe at the top here and uh, over here as well with a little chimney there and I also put a chimney here I did a little bit of a weathering effect right there on that uh, these are nothing more than bendy straws um, in terms of uh, the paint uh, that was probably one of the most complex and time-consuming things I didn't really like any of the tan paints I saw at Lowe's or Home Depot or anything like that so I went on to a forum and um, I learned about a guy who had done it in layering so this is what I did uh, I put on the very base I put a, a brown primer, just brown primer. I didn't completely saturate it. Uh, there was some white showing through. And I put it really dark around the base here. It's hard to see now. But um, then I put a light dusting of yellow and a light dusting of white, um, both matte, uh, never gloss. And then after that, making sure that each layer dried before I put the next one on, I put another layer of yellow and another layer of white. Um, and this is the effect that I got. So um, in terms of the uh, other things I did, I also put some weathering effects here um, and up here. Try to give it an aged look. I kind of did that around the box. I just used a, a little bit of a, uh, a dark brown and um, black. And I, I put some water in it to make it a wash. And then just used a brush and just kind of brushed it real lightly there. I experimented on um, some cardboard first before I actually did it. Um, and then I uh, used some uh, some cloth here and just kind of smudged it into the uh, the building as well. Again, the buttresses here are um, just nothing more than carved foam. Uh, this is foam here as well. This is um, foam core. I made that. You saw that earlier. Um, then the uh, the canopies are plaster bandages, and it's really nice. It gives it a kind of a ratty look. Um, and it was uh, pretty easy to do. I just took four inch um, plaster bandages and I draped them um, over four uh, skewer tips, which is what these are, skewers, which is what these are, broken, um, over four skewer tips stuck in styrofoam, um, draped it over, let it dry, um, and then I painted it black and red, mostly red and then with some black highlights. You can kind of see I can, I can take these right out and they stand up because, well, they're foam core. Or sorry, they're um, plaster bandages, um, so they're nice and stiff. And I just used a glue gun to attach them to the building. So a couple of things I did. Um, you kind of see how the walls look a little thick. Well, let me turn this around and I'll show you what I did. So I, um, I took some cardboard and I just cut out some arches. And I did it a few layers deep to make the cardboard pretty thick. And then I just glued it on the inside and I um, used spackling and I spackled and sanded it to create that really nice kind of layered look or depth of look so that way it didn't look like um, a, a box um, so I think the, the effect turned out really nice um, but um, I certainly could have created a lot more detail out of all this um, you notice some of the materials that I had at the beginning um, are not present now so things kind of evolve of course, here is the uh, the power station as well. One more time. Um, again, I think uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm going to go ahead and um, 
I'm going to put this with some figures and maybe a background and see if we can get it to look uh, a little bit like the movie. Okay, so here is the finished diorama or finished buildings with uh, figures and such. We'll, uh, we'll kind of do a, a pass over here and kind of see uh, how it all looks together. I also included the Lars Homestead. I picked this up off of eBay for about 25 bucks. Um, and it's got the moisture evaporator and such. So I thought I'd throw it in there just kind of as a comparison between something that Hasbro created versus something that I created. And in terms of coloring and such, I think it turned out uh, pretty nice. It matches very nicely. So uh, we'll stick a, a sweep through here. And we'll see just how some of these things look. We've got, uh, of course, um, uh, sand troops. We've got uh, dewbacks and such. And then as we pass through here, got a droid there in the corner. And then there's, of course, the building from the diorama. Toronto. There's the power substation that I created. Again, it was my idea to try to have a droid or a Jawa working on that. Um, the moisture evaporator also too, I think, really, I thought, completed the scene. It was really important for me. There's Gurindan in the corner. And then, of course, uh, what's most nicely without a Womp Rat? And that Womp Rat is from the Lars Homestead set. And then, of course, you have the famous um, droid scene. These are not the droids you're looking for. So that was important. And then here's the building I created. And finally... Got one of the newer dewbacks with the uh, sand trooper uh, mounting him. So all in all, I'm really happy with it. Um, trying to fit all this stuff onto a bookshelf is going to be kind of tricky. I may not include the Lars Homestead in the bookshelf. I may try to put that separately somewhere. But uh, anyway, so if this is something you're trying to create on your own, feel free to shoot me any questions you may have. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them, and uh, please uh, feel free to subscribe because, again, as I mentioned in my other videos, this is part of a, uh, a year-long project or so to display all my, my Star Wars toys in a diorama setting, so I'll be creating a massive 8-foot uh, by 8-foot bookshelf that's bigger than what I said in my previous video because I'm having to expand. So uh, feel free to subscribe, and you can see the other videos as they come online. I'm um, against a huge project. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy these, and this is something you could do on your own. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.